They make it back. Tom Hanks wasn't. No, that was 13. But yeah, no, you know exactly what's going to happen, but we were on the edge of our seat. Jaws open, staring, blurry-eyed. Crying. Crying. It hits you. I didn't cry. hugging our cats. Yep. Squeezing them. Mm Mm-hmm. I didn't cover my eyes. So good. Oh, man, what a documentary. I mean, just the fact that they could do that. Just, I mean... All right, so the fact that they get the space is amazing, but the fact that they can film the, <laughs> the, the entire thing there and back. Uh, of that quality at that time, yes. Bonkers. All right, so my next one is the best celebrity punching song, and it's, you know, I Punch Keanu, <laughs> and it's from Always Be My Maybe, and it's from Marcus, played by Randall Park. And so there's a scene in this where Sasha, his friend, I guess, and then eventual love, Yeah, Ellie they Wong, were neighbors as children. They... She's on a date. They both have dates. And Keanu's there just being Keanu times 12, I guess. He, no, he, I think he's jerk Keanu. Jerk Keanu. So he's channeling jerk Keanu. And eventually Randall Park just punches him in the face because Keanu wants him to. Doesn't really even hurt Oh, yeah. Keanu. They're playing some weird game at Keanu's apartment. This is after a very strange dinner in which they have to listen to the animals that they're eating on headphones while they eat. And they breathe things. Right? There's a drink where they breathe the yeah, essence it was, of it. Yeah, it's very strange. Very expensive. Mm-hmm. But, and didn't Randall Park want to pay the bill and he saw it and he's like, ooh. Yeah. But then at the end, over the credits, it's I Punch Keanu. And he's, his band is fun in this movie. Yeah, it is. Like, if you could Spotify the music from Always Be My Maybe, do it. The whole it. movie is fun. It's cute. And it had a smile on my face. hmm And the guy from um, Lost is in it. He's good. He's kind of a shifty businessman. Oh, yeah. Is that her boyfriend? Yeah, so it's just all about oh, wow. we were Daniel, just, Day, Daniel Day Kim. A snake Pliskin just fell we towards you. We were just you. attacked by the spirit of Escape from a New York. That John Levingood got me from Australia. We're upsetting someone. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Keanu. Or maybe I'm leaning on the desk too yeah, hard. Yeah, you're, you're kicking it right now. Oh. No, but Ra- Randall Park and Ant-Man and the Wasp was hilarious. The interview. But in this one, it was he's fun watching him be a everything. charming leading man. He's good. He is, but he's also a little bit of a sad sack sometimes. Yeah, he's a sad sack in this one. Oh my gosh, their first, uh, the first time they did it. Oh goodness, that's the hottest scene of 2019. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what's what's your uh, what's your next one? Okay, the best usage of an actor from Legion oh. in Aladdin. So Navid Negabon from Legion, who plays Farouk Oof. in The Shadow King and many other names. He's just amazing. I mean, he can eat a scene like no other, and he wears those octagonal glasses that I've been looking everywhere for on the internet and still haven't found. Just so cool. Such a great delivery. Noah Hawley got found, had a gold mine when they found him. Oh, yeah. No, he's amazing. And he's almost unrecognizable as Jasmine, as the Sultan, Jasmine's dad in Aladdin. I thought he was about four other actors first under all that facial hair. and You would never know. Didn't they call him the man of a thousand faces? He can change up his face a lot. Oh, that's true. He's so good. Yeah. Farouk is the best in Legion, isn't he? And he's he's kind of over the top in the movie, in Aladdin as well. So it's just really fun to watch. I think he's just got a great personality. He's a good actor and I'll watch everything he does. It made me happy that Aladdin cleared a billion because the critics weren't too kind to it. No, which is but a bunch of bullshit. Audience, <laughs> audiences loved it, though. It's because cute, if it's you fun. grew up in that area like we did, I had the CD and we played it on the CD player all the darn time. The leads are likable. Will Smith is back to being fun Will Smith. Mm-hmm. It's good. And they revisit all these songs that you know, and they didn't alter them too much. They added one, but... And then you have the great sub side plot of the lady from New Girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> from Scream Queens, right? Yeah. Falling in love with Will Smith. Too funny. Yeah. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, the the handmaiden or the right hand. I just had a big smile on my face and seeing Farouk in it. It's just... He's too good of an actor. He's a, he's a national treasure. He should be a national treasure three. As he Nick Cage. He should. No, that's... Don't. Hey, don't start <laughs> that now. He should be as Riley, but... Yeah, well, he takes over as <laughs> Riley. Back at Sean Bean's character. <gasps> oh, yeah, they could be besties. Yeah. Cruising together. Oh my gosh. It'd be fantastic. We need it. And All Jermaine. Right. Oh, Jermaine Clement? Mm-hmm. Throw him in there? What about Audrey Plaza? All and the National Treasure. The nah, whole cast she's, of- she's a little bit... She's not on the tone of... Disney? No, of National Treasure. It's just so earnest, and she's very sarcastic. It's true. But this could push her acting. She was in Safety Not Guaranteed, and do Bloss Brothers are super earnest. What do you think? No? Mm-mm. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, am I going last? Are you done? 
No, I have one more. Oh, okay. Remember, oh, yeah, I'm last because you took hey. my spot. So I'm doing the best chocolate made by the director award. Ooh. And that goes to Robert Rodriguez from Alita Battle Angel. So we were watching the chef show on Netflix. And John Favreau went to Robert Rodriguez's home where he has a pizza oven, of course. A awesome. stone. And a video a editing brick. suite yeah, and a, all kinds of things. Doesn't he have an studio. ADR studio there? Yeah, his, his entire studio. It's where he shot all this in cities. He has the Alita sets in his backyard. Wait, in his house? Yeah, well, no, in the studios, but it's all Crazy. on his property. And so in this one, he's like, yeah, we had to have some chocolates in Alita, so I just went and made them. And then he goes and makes the chocolates, and then Roy and John are eating chocolates. I wish I had seen that before I watched Alita, because I would have really appreciated how she's just eating this chocolate for the first time and thinks it's so amazing. Robert Rodriguez would make great chocolate. I'm sure he would. He's a He's a chef. He's, oh, and so also I know I'm a big fan of his because if you watch a lot of his DVDs, he does a cooking school. So early on in his cooking schools, he did stuff that were very out there and tough to make. But then he started doing cooking schools for stuff that was really easy to make. Mm-hmm. So on, From his, all his movies? Yeah, if you have a DVD of his, there's always a Robert Rodriguez cooking school. So on the Alita Battle Angel, he shows you how he made the chocolates. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We need to make the chocolates. Hey, we have it too. We can watch it and learn. I want Alita Battle Angel chocolates. All right, let's hurry up and go make chocolate. All right, yeah, all right. What's your uh, what's your last one? <laughs> My last one is best sabotage subplot. Actually, oh, we could call it best sabotage romance subplot. It's, it really is. It, it's... So in Downton Abbey, the movie, Andrew gets jealous that Daisy has eyes for this handyman that comes in to fix the, what, this the buff boiler, boiler guy. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> She's always been the dumbest character, but I love Downton Abbey. Yeah. And she's feeling kind of lukewarm on him. They've been engaged for a while. She's not sure. Then when the the queen is supposed to come and visit Downton Abbey, Andrew decides to mess up the boiler and get it blamed on this handyman. You know, just in time for them not to have any hot water at Downton Abbey. Great, great timing. He realizes he's messed up. He finally fesses up to her at the very end, you know, when everything worked out because they're all happy and it's Downton Abbey and things work out. Mm-hmm. But she's like, oh, now I'm ready to get married. Let's plan a wedding date because of all you did for me. And I didn't realize you were in that headspace. You got some guts and you're self-destructive. She liked that. Maybe Ridiculous. she thought that he was, he was too vanilla and too boring. But then he goes and self-destructively I destroys the boiler. I think she felt like he wasn't passionate enough. And that was like a sign of passion. But he's just a nice guy. They're so stupid. Yeah. But I love the look. There's an assassination attempt in Downton Abbey. There's I mean, a- the drama is high, but you're smiling the whole time. So it's very... There are a lot of subplots. I think Downton Abbey has the most subplots of 2019. Race cars. There's an assassination. There's a parade. There's the snooty chef. There's the snooty butler. Oh, there's uh, Thomas's Thomas's jaunt at the... um... At the club. Yeah. And then you have... There's more. There's uh, boat. Oh, there's the inheritance. The inheritance. Oh my gosh, there's that. And then there's taking over. There's the silver. Oh yeah, there's... uh, Can a guy travel? Grandma's future. Grandma's future. Oh, because she's, she's not doing too well. Yeah. And then you have the one lady with a husband who they don't think is going to show up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That oh, was and, sad. And then Matthew's getting followed by that criminal. Mm-hmm. We just named 14 subplots. <laughs> and there's probably eight more. <laughs> Gotta keep it interesting. What? There's there's definitely... Lady Mary is, is trying to fire people, as always. Oh, my gosh. That was too funny, though, but... Lord Grantham said he didn't, he was not going to fire Thomas because he showed some... Principle. Yeah. <laughs> so people like it when you step up for yourself in this world, I know, huh? it's very funny. I mean, Tom, to be fair, Thomas was overwhelmed. Yes. And no one talked to him about it. And Mary was trying to take over, yeah, per usual. Exactly. And then they bring in a ringer mm-hmm. and they undermine him. So he should not be happy with it. Exactly. Thomas. He had a nice ending. He did. I think he's come very far since the beginning of Downton Abbey. Such a good show. Mm-hmm. Remember when I binge watched it because I'd been working like were, 80 hours and I had a day off? Were you sick, I think? I just had a day off. Oh, okay. I couldn't move. So I just laid there and watched it all. And I started screaming. And I love this British shit from Major League Two. It's just so good. Well, thanks for joining me, Megan. Well, thanks for having me. 2019 Random Awards. Great. I can't believe it's already here. It's gone. We have to start planning for the next year. And we want to thank the live audience that came out tonight. Stella, Yay! Ghost. Woo! Our two cats. Round of applause. Oh, oh! <laughs> are you are you flirting? Kidding me? Hey, that's a oh. cat. What do you think? Are you goosing me? Oh, gross! <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Should I edit that out? No, we'll keep it in. Do What's it. the name of a cat? Basically, if I said you're goosing me, you're scratching my eye. That'd be worse. 
I could do it. I've lost it. <laughs> all right. So thank you. Thank you, Megan, for joining me. Thank you all for listening to 2019 Random Awards. This is Mark Hoffmeyer and Megan Hoffmeyer for Movies, Films, and Flicks. We'll see you next week.